1992 to 1997 Lincoln Town Cars have a digital dashboard. Uh, so if this goes out and suddenly you don't have that, that cluster, then you don't know how much gas you have, you don't know how fast you're going, and a whole lot of other vital information that you need to know to properly drive that car. There's also a digital odometer reading on this dash, so if you're connected with your insurance company through an app and they need you to update it by telling them how many miles are on the car, you're not going to be able to tell them. And this can cost you some serious money here. And the app that I'm referring to is this gizmo right here. Uh, I get great car insurance rates because of that app and they can see me driving and that I'm not breaking any laws. Yep. Safe driver. So what I'm saying is this is or can seem like an emergency. Because it's not just some little bulb in there that's blown out. It's the whole cluster that runs off the computer in the car. It's not just the light illuminating what's already there, it's the whole thing, nothing is there at all. And, and don't worry, don't panic at this point. If you watch this whole video and you still haven't found the problem, then it could be time for a little bit of panic. I don't want to get you all fixed up. And here you see we have absolutely nothing uh, that cluster should have came on as soon as I turned the key. And one of the first things that you want to check is your dimmer switch. And uh, I'm turning that and it's not doing anything. And yeah, banging on it is not going to do too much of anything. You can try disconnecting the battery and then reconnecting it and just like rebooting a home computer, this will reset the computer in your car. I doubt if that's going to work for you, but you can always give it a try. Now, some people might tell you that when your cluster lights go out, it's a sign that something else is wrong that you can't see like your brake lights went out and it's all intertwined and this is like an idiot light flashing that's not flashing at all it's just telling you something else is wrong not on this car when the cluster lights go out it has something to do with the cluster lights okay and it's not again it's not just a light it's, it's a whole computer board there that's that's just not working so wow it's always great to check your turn signals and your brake lights and all that stuff go ahead and check it but that's not going to be connected to your dash cluster lights. And some people will tell you, well, it's time to rip out your old dashboard and uh, look for a bulb in back of it that lights up the dashboard. <laughs> it's, not, it's not what you're dealing with. There's no bulb back there. What you're going to find if you do that is a computer board that you're not going to be able to fix anyway. And then you can go out and buy a new computer board and replace it, and it's still probably not going to work. That could be it. But if I had to bet, I would say that's not your problem. And the reason I can say that is because this is a common issue with this car. And people give up looking for it, and they take it to a mechanic, and if the mechanic is a little bit shady, He's going to know what it is and charge you an outrageous price to fix something that you can real easily fix yourself. We're going to locate the engine compartment fuse box and take a look at what we have. You can go ahead and pop the lid, and up underneath the lid, you're going to see a list, it's actually two or three lists, of the fuses and telling you what these fuses are for. And here you can see the fuses themselves. 
going right down that line and to the left of it and to the right. Of it. And the problem we have here is there's no fuse associated with the instrument cluster. If you ask around, someone's legitimately going to tell you that there's another fuse box on the inside of the car that runs everything in the interior of the car. And that person is right, but they're also liable to tell you that the fuse box is on the passenger side, the passenger compartment of the car. And the reason they might be telling you that is because they dug up the manual on the car and that's what the manual says. Well, the manual is wrong. So go ahead, you can go ahead and dig around all you want in there, take the glove compartment out, and check the back seat too, pull the carpet up, you can even check the trunk, that's big enough for a passenger. Yep, I hate to say that, you would think that a person working for Lincoln would know how to write a manual on a Lincoln car, but that person who wrote that is wrong, it's on the driver's side of the car, and I want to show you where it's at. And a lot of the Lincoln Town Car owners don't know that this is here because it just looks like a black box. It does not look like a fuse box. And they never get way down on the floor and look up at it and see the outline of fuses on it. You see that? We need to pull that cover off and that's what we're going to do right now. In a 92 to 94, it's going to be this fuse right here at the bottom left, 10 amp fuse, it's red. If you're dealing with a 95 to 97, there's going to be, instead of this big one, there's going to be two more in the middle. And you're looking for the number 3 fuse, which is going to be right next to this 10 amp fuse, and that's a 5 amp fuse. So because this car is a 92, we're going to pull this fuse out, like, <laughs> like that, and we're going to check it, but a visual check doesn't always do it. This could look fine and still be blown, and the good thing about these cars is you have a little holder here for new fuses. So if no one ever got into this fuse box, all of these should still be in place. You got a 5 amp, a 10 amp, a 15, and a 20 amp. Pretty cool, huh? And this is the one we might need. We're going to stick it in there and see what that does. setting itself. There's your odometer, 135,000 miles. Damn, I better get some gas. And there's all kinds of stuff down here that'll tell you, you know, how many miles you went on a trip somewhere if you reset it. Uh, the fuel remaining, outside temperature, average economy, instant economy, and there's trip one and trip two. So there's all kinds of useful information on this that is vital if you own one of these cars. Uh, so there's, there's how to fix it. And if that doesn't fix it, I would not go ripping through your dashboard. I would not do that. Not on this car. I would, I would take it to a mechanic and, and get them a good mechanic. You're going to need a good one for this. To, uh, to go ahead and diagnose it. And recheck the fuses. Maybe the one that you put in isn't so good either. Uh, that could be it. Most likely it's that fuse down there. 
right next to the emergency brake and in the hood latch. There you have it. I hope I helped you out. Peace.